Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And uh, today we are opening some interesting mail. It's just one envelope, but the contents, oh boy, the contents. So looking forward to this. Um, as some of you may notice, I've been slowly black bordering Timmy's spellbook. And I know that's a mission I'm never going to complete, right? I'm not going to have a black bordered a beta ancestral recall or a beta time walk, but you know how it goes. You know life, right? You've got a deck that's kind of your pet deck. You love playing it. For me, that's Timmy's spellbook. Another deck I love to play, by the way, is Orbitron or just Tron old school in general. I think it's it's so nice to play with those lands. I really enjoy it. Uh, but that's another topic, I guess. But what you're slowly doing is, you're, you know, you're looking at the deck and you're trying to... First, it starts by making it, I guess, Swedish illegal, right? So you're starting to replace your revised cards with unlimited cards. And then you slowly start to think, okay, maybe it needs some power. And then you get the, some of the power cards if you're fortunate enough. And then you start thinking about, what if I black border a couple of the cheaper cards? And that kind of ended up now with all the cards in Timmy's Spellbook right now, all the creatures and all the basic lands are black bordered. And now I'm slowly moving towards uh, changing some of the other affordable spells because I mean, the problem with, with old school is you're saving up for something, but it takes longer to save. And once you have a certain amount of money, the prices have spiked again and have, I don't know, doubled or tripled or it's so, you know, it's, it's, I'm sure when you're listening to this, we're, we're sharing this, this problem, right? There are a lot of old school players out there who are really struggling with keeping up with all that, all the price changes. So, um, but anyway, this is, this is a card that I'm going to put in my Timmy Spellbook deck that's actually in here. Um, so it's an upgrade and I'd love to show it to you. This is a card from Germany sent to me. By let's have a look who's sending this to me. FKTRD Games. I believe they're on um, they're on Cart Market. I've got this from Cart Market, and uh, they're good guys. I've I've ordered a lot from them. Very reliable. Very as you can see, very good packaging. Um, let's see where do I have a scissors? Here we go. And it's good. You know, once you know a few reliable sellers on on Cart Market, you you basically you know where know where you can get your stuff so here we go so we've got a token and we've got the back of the card so you know what i'm gonna make it a little bit exciting it's actually it's for such an old card i'm not yeah i'm not um complaining about the condition i think it's actually pretty good it's kind of the condition that i bought it in we see some some damage at the top but over here but overall it's not it's not too bad and here we go it is the beautiful psionic blast oh now we see the damage <laughs> here at the front but i bought it in this condition so i'm not upset about the condition i bought it like this obviously i had to go for i don't want to call it a cheap copy but i guess one of the cheaper copies for the psionic blast but these cards are just ridiculously expensive I do think I do think it's kind of worth it because Psionic Blast is one of these almost staple cards in blue. I mean, it gives blue access to direct damage. And I remember way back when I found out about this card because I, I was used to playing just with Revised and, and Fourth Edition, you know, and then <clears throat> I, I kind of got shown this card and I was just flabbergasted. I was like, what? This is like a lightning bolt for blue. It's just ridiculous, right? One blue and two, and four damage to any target at instant speed. You know, the instant speed makes such a big difference and make this, this card so playable. So we've got this Psionic Blast. Let's put it back in the sleeve. Put it back safe. Been saving up for this one. And now we're going to put it in my deck. Maybe it's kind of nice. Like this is Revised Playbook kind of reminding me of, of the set that, you know, started the magic journey for me, you know, the set that was there when I started the journey. And let's go and try to find ourselves a psionic blast to put in the deck. So as you can see, I still have a long ways to go in terms of black bordering the deck. And I don't mind, it's it's a long, long-term project. Like black counter counterspell, I mean, ah, that's gonna be really tough. 
for the wallet for the wallet to uh, to work with. Oh yeah, by the way, you saw time elemental. I'm kind of experimenting with the time elemental in this deck just because I I just like the card so much. I think it's cool. So it it probably wasn't on the deck photo that I showed earlier in this in this video, but. I think it's really nice. It can work quite well in a control deck and it's just such a cool card to play out. Really like the art as well by uh, by Amy Weber. So let's have a look. Oh, there we go. So this is a Psyblast. I'm actually only playing with two Psyblasts in this deck. Let's have a look. Because we can look at the condition and we can change the one that's um, it's in the worst condition, I guess. They're both kind of decent, uh, but I guess I'm just gonna change this one. See a little, yeah, a little corner here. I mean, I, to be honest, I don't really care that much about condition. Um, yeah, so yeah, we're gonna put it in the deck. So this is it. This is a short mail day. Uh, let me know in the comments below what is your pet deck? Like, what is your favorite deck that you love to play with? And um, do you recognize this? kind of weird little goal of trying to upgrade from Unlimited to Black Border, this journey. I know a lot of you are on the same journey. So yeah, share share with me, share what you're doing, share where you're at, you know, I really appreciate it. Um, if you wanna help the channel, by the way, just simply like this video, that kind of helps a lot. Just a thumbs up, hit that button, uh, button. And something else you can do, you can also subscribe if you're not a sub yet. And um, if you wanna become part of the channel, like really kind of help the channel out, you can also become a, a sponsor of the show and you can do that by joining Timmy Talks on Patreon so you can become a patron. The cool thing about that is, is that you can join our Discord, you can join the Timmy Talks events like the online tournaments and also your name will be in the, um, in the end scroll. So how cool is that? Actually talking about the end scroll, let's go there now and let's take a look at all the fantastic, all the amazing channel members and patrons of Timmy Talks. Let's go. Ik het dus, ik het dus, zomba kazee!